Good morning, fourth graders. This is Miss Marks. Today we're going to be working on lesson 12, Fancy Shapes with Nested Loops. It looks like nobody or very few, some of you are very close to finishing, but nobody has actually finished this one. This way everybody can be on the same page and I won't get confused when you ask me questions. Um, so you're going to combine simple shapes into complex designs with nested loops. Count the number of times an action should be repeated and represent that as a loop and break complex tasks into smaller repeatable sections. There's no vocabulary, so we're just going to jump right into it. And like I said, you guys have already started this. So draw a triangle. Each triangle is 100 pixels long and you need to turn 120 degrees. So move forward, turn right. It's a triangle, so I'm going to loop it. Um, remember my fractions lesson, one hole, which is fine, because I did use the loop here. They obviously wanted me to put out all six lines of code. And please don't put it on the turtle. You know that takes forever to run. I'm going to skip two and go to three because that's the video. Okay, so number four is basically the same thing that they just did. So number one, I need the first loop to make the triangle. Always make the shape first and then try to figure out the pattern after it. So here the shape is a triangle. I need to move forward by 100. I am assuming it's 100. It's not telling me. I'm going to try it. Turn left by 120 degrees let's run that okay so that worked there and now after each triangle you need to turn 60 degrees okay now i'm going to pull this out um they had set color to random we can put that one in there and we're going to put in another repeat block because it says to use two this is exactly what he just did on the video And you're done. And skip five and go to six. Okay, circles. Each circle is made by moving one pixel before turning one degree 360 times. So they said to repeat 360 times. Move forward one pixel turn left one degree oops this should give us one circle and it doesn't matter where you put that rabbit he's a little slow to draw these circles okay each circle begins 50 pixels from where the last one ended so I want to jump forward 50 pixels and then I'm going to loop this because I only have one block left. Remember, if I have one block left, that tells you it's a loop. Now I'm only going to do this two times just to make sure I'm correct and then I can fix it in a minute. And again, you can add the color. The color doesn't count against you as a line of code.
Okay, so I'm going to add that color in there. Select random color, put that one in. And this is one, two, three, four circles. So we need to do it four times. Looks like we got four shades of green today. Okay. Remember, reading the directions are critical on your coding. Just read each step at a time or play it if you need to. Okay, first, it's a square. I see a square, so I need to make a square. Square has four sides. Each square has 150, 100, degree, 100 pixels. So move forward, turn left. I'm going to run that. That works. Okay. You will need to turn 60 degrees between each square. Okay, turn right 60 degrees and jump 50 pixels. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Uh, remember when we did this in the class last time, we just switched the two and see if that works. That's what works. So now I'm gonna take all of this out. I'm gonna pull up the other repeat. And there are six squares. That's what they said at the beginning. And now we can put in the random color. Okay. You guys can, um, when you, if you do a project, you can always save this, uh, highlight it, click and highlight. And then you can um, right click copy and then you can left then right click again on like word or something and then you can paste it somewhere else so that you can see what it looks like later okay unfortunately I'm not doing the hexagon I'm gonna do the next one okay both shapes have 50 pixel sides. Between each pair of shapes, you'll need to jump for the length of a side, which is 50 pixels, and turn 45 degrees. So I'm going to start with the triangles. So a triangle has three sides. I'm going to move forward 50 pixels. And I'm going to turn left. 120 degrees. Remember, it's a triangle. Okay, now I need to go back to the directions. Between each pair of shapes, you'll need to jump forward. So jump forward the length of a side, which is 50 pixels, and then turn right 45. Okay, I'm going to just do this two times and see if I'm right. Because I know I'm working on these two lines of code right here. So I'll start with that. Okay. Now I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be repeat eight times. And if I want to, what's that purple? If I want that to be purple still, I can collect the set color and purple. 
put it in. Now they'll all be purple. Okay, now I'm gonna make the squares. So I'm gonna start a new loop. It has four sides and it's a move forward, 50 pixels, turn left by 90 degrees. So I make sure that's right. Actually, for my sanity right now, in order to make sure this does not take that long. I'm going to pull this up. Okay. Then I'm going to try the jump first and then the turn. Jump forward by 50, turn right, and then we know we're going to loop this. Okay, so I know that I'm right. So now I can take this, stick it under here, take all of this, put it back, come on. Okay, now that it's connected, I can just grab that. Okay, and that other one was a pink, so I'm going to go here, pull out a set color, change it to that pink. Mm. Okay, fine. You don't have to change the color. It's not changing. You can see it's not changing the value of the um, squares any. Still a 13 out of 13. I have the right number. Oh, I need to repeat more than 12. And how many was the first one? Eight. So it's probably going to be eight. Okay, I'm going to put this on rabbit, full rabbit. Okay, keep in mind, I looked at one shape first, coded out that one shape first, then I went back and did the second shape and put the two codes together. Oh, I can't do 12. Okay, I'll go back and do 11. 12 is a prediction. 13 is free play, so I'll just do 11 and call it a day. Okay. Okay, so the same from before. So I'm going to go with the fact of, well, it's a square, so I need to be move forward, turn left, 90 degrees, 50 pixels, as they said from before. So before it was 50 pixels, so I'm going to assume now it's 50 pixels. So I'm going to do this four, four times. Okay, then what did we do? We jumped forward by 50 pixels and then we looped all of that so let's try this make sure I'm right so I'm only going to do two don't waste my time I'm going to slow it down a little bit because this one's not so bad okay so now I need seven they said Okay, if you have any questions, please email me while you are in the program itself. It doesn't help me if you're not sitting there working with me at the same time. Please email me while you're in the program so that I can work with you at the same time. You can have two screens open like I usually do, and we can go back and forth and talk like that. It will make both of our lives a lot easier, and I will talk to you later. Bye.